The first thing you want to do is go to polyhaven.com or any other website that offers HDRI images for free and select an HDRI image. The image that I will use is Joburg Central Sunset. Once you've downloaded that image, go into Blender and we're going to go to the World Properties of here. Yeah, where it shows color, we're going to click on that and we're going to select Environmental Texture and then we're going to select Open and we're going to find the environmental texture we want to use. Currently, as you may know, you can't see the environmental texture in this scene. But if we switch to render view mode, we can. And it doesn't matter whether we're in EV or cycles. Either way, we'll be able to see the environmental texture. Right. The next thing we want to do is go to our world properties and just cover a few of these things. So currently we have linear via and these don't seem to make much of a difference. Um, and I've seen it except for cubic, cubic will, it will be corners normally where it bleeds. Maybe if I'm just using a flat image, not an environmental texture, these things to have more, more of an impact on flat images, not environmental textures. Um, so I'm just going to go to linear again. And the next thing is we got the option for equa rectangular, which basically it uses longitude and latitude of the projection, or we can choose the mirror ball. And the mirror ball uses uh, the projection of the orthographic photo or a mirror ball image, which would be, another word for mirror ball would be an HDRI image. Uh, in this case, if we switch to mirror ball, everything looks a little bit more distorted and round. It doesn't quite work because our HDRI image is already set up correctly using the equa rectangular, equi rectangular solution. The other thing we can use in terms of color, we can change to formic log and we could mess with the strength here and just get an interesting look from an HDR image that you might not have known that you can do. And there are many other options here that I'll just quickly rush through. Let's go back to down to one and uh, it's non-color, raw, raw sRGB and XYZ. Now the option that I will use is linear, which is the, no, no, let's use, I quite like formic log. So I'm going to use formic log and I'm just going to ramp this up or let's use sRGB, put this on one actually. I quite like how this looks. Now the next thing you can do is you can adjust the strength, the brightness by using the strength of here, but I'm quite happy with one for now. And um, we, we do have different options here. We haven't set up anything. So now the next thing that someone asked me on my channel was how do you adjust your uh, environmental texture? How do you move it around? Right. So all you need to do is go to your shader editor. Once you're in your shader editor, you'll notice that currently we are using the object level of the shader editor, which is focusing on this default cube. Now, if we click on object and switch to world, Boom, just like that, here's our environmental texture. Now, before we continue, let's press Edit, Preferences, and go over here and type in um, Node. Once you've typed in Node, make sure that you've got Node Wrangler enabled. If you have Node Wrangler enabled, you can just select this and press Control T. And you could also press um, Add and find each individual thing, but Control T is a lot quicker when you're using Node Wrangler. All right, so now that we've got the mapping over here, uh, you'll notice that uh, our something new has appeared here. Our vector, we've selected mapping. And now when we press this drop-down menu, these options appear, which happen to be these options over here. And uh, we, 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 can, we can mess with the texture coordinates, uh, but I'm going to leave it on generated because it already looks fine. We can adjust the, the location. Now, you do not just adjust the location with location because this is what happens. So if I change this to 5, you'll notice that the image starts to stretch out. Now, you might get a slightly different result, much worse result with mirror, but you get the idea. It doesn't quite quite do the trick. So I like to use equi rectangular. So if, we, if this is not given the result, how do we get the result that we want? Well, it's simple. You mess with the rotation So and the scale. So the first thing we're going to do is mess with the, with the rotation. Let's, mess, let's move it from left to right. So we're going to use the Z rotation and find a rooftop we will use. Let's use this rooftop over here and let's also um, adjust up and down. I think that would be 
x. No, let's put that on zero at y, up and down. There we go. Let's just zoom in. And now we can also try and just make it flat, flat if we like. And we're not moving the, the, the image at all. We're moving the environmental texture. The next thing you might want to do is change the scale of the background. Well, that's easy. You can just scale the Y over here. Now, if you do too much, it will go thin or too big because it's using proportions in comparison to X and Y. But if you hold down Shift and you just go slowly, and it might be more noticeable if we press Control Alt and Numpad Zero, and look at this from a from this perspective. It's just a crop to render region, so we only see what we need to see and just change the cycles. Right, so this is what we see at the moment. So if we if we adjust this, now if we mess with this, let's put this on five. It flips it basically. It, uh, it doesn't really help us much, and we can just move around here to see how everything looks. It doesn't give the result that we want. So I'm going to put this back on one. And I'm just going to move this like this. And if we move the X, here we go. Now, for whatever reason, it's zooming in now. And we are going to go over here. And we're going to go zoom in even more. But now we just need to bring this down a bit. And obviously this HDRI image is only 4K, so it's a bit more blurry, but you get the idea. So you can zoom in like that. And uh, as long as these are all on the same number, whether they're on 111 or 2, 2, 2, it will always kind of default to the same size. 100, 100, 100. You get the idea. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this brief tutorial on environmental textures where we covered all these various things and hopefully this answers all your questions. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.